Hey guys! So today we are making my first endangered animal cake and we are making the honeybee. We're not just making any honeybee, we're making the blue-eyed bee, also known as Killa. I made this shirt. She looks fierce. I love the way this cake turned out. And I'm excited to make all of the members of the endangered squad. So let's get started. So about a month ago, I published a picture with three different honeybees in the community tab. We had the queen bee, we had JB, and we had blue eye bee. It's named after Beyonce, Jay-Z, and blue ivy. <laughs> I asked you which one of these should be turned into a cake. Now the majority of you voted for the blue eyed bee, and I was a little sad because I wanted to create the queen bee, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now just like the cocoa cake, I'm using a very expensive pan, you guys. I found it at the 99 cent store. Made out of aluminum foil, which is the most expensive metal on the market right now. All the cake pans that I had on hand were either too big or too small, and I really wanted to minimize the amount of cake scraps I had, so I created my own pan. I just leveled off the top with my cake leveler, and then divided it into two equal layers. Now, I'm using a vanilla cake that I dyed blue, and I think... They don't have the color, I don't think. It's like the cross between Yucatan and like a perfect sky, I guess. Wow, I'm really disappointed right now. Now I just cut out the bee shape using my sidekick. Shout out to Ikea, you're the real MVP. Pulled away the excess cake scraps and then I took off the top layer of cake. I'm gonna add some buttercream into the middle. Now this is a vanilla box cake, but I added like a little less than a fourth of cream cheese to it because I love cream cheese at the moment. You look like you could do without a little cream cheese. Who said that? Get out of here. Not everyone likes cream cheese. Get out. Now once I finished creaming the inside, that's what, Never mind. I added my next layer of cake and then I just gave this baby a crumb coat. Now Killa the blue-eyed bee is the princess of Bee Town. And Bee Town is the capital of Begand. <laughs> you guys are all over the place <laughs> and I love it. So she's a swag god, I guess? I don't know, can somebody explain to me what a swag god is? I don't think anyone knows how old I am, but I'm definitely too old to know what a swag god is. Now Killa was different than all of the other honeybees because she was born with blue eyes. And that made her very insecure about how she looked and she became shy and quiet. When she was out in the world, she tried to be as invisible as possible so that they wouldn't make fun of her. But at home, she was one one thing, savage. She would sing up a storm in the shower, headbang to Cardi B, and she was also a swag god. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm gonna place my cake into the fridge to cool and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about our blue-eyed bee. Now in high school, hi school, cause it was high, you get it? She felt like she was being tortured every day, but she also knew that there was life outside of those four walls. So as soon as she graduated, she left B-Town. She left Beganda, which in actuality is just a very tight cluster of hives on a small farm in Michigan. Shout out to Detroit, you make the best cars. To create the rest of Killa, I'm actually using two dome cakes. I'm just placing my template on top uh, to create her head and body. She moved to the big city to follow her dreams and forget about all of those bullies. That's why I can't be a dad, because if I were to be a dad and somebody were like bullying my kids, I would straight up tell them, I'm ready to go to jail for what I'm gonna do to you. You keep doing this to my baby. You do it one more time, I'm serving a life sentence for what I do to you. And once I got the basic shape, I just started to round them off using my paring knife. I still wanted this to be a 3D cake even though it's just a flat one. Now in the Coco Guitar Cake video, I gave away two sets of Black Panther tickets to subscribers who wrote Wakanda Forever in the comment section. So congratulations to the notorious BJ and the spectacular Anna Peterson. Email me at qualipops at gmail.com and I'll send you your tickets. 
I gave this another crumb coat and I placed it into the fridge for 30 minutes. Then I covered my entire cake in black fondant. Now black fondant cracks like crazy so I tried to work fast. I tried to make sure that I wasn't too harsh with how I was touching the fondant and being very careful. I also wanted to make sure that I kept all the definition of the head and the body. I was very careful with this and I think I did a good job. Now it did tear right between the head and like the abdomen area, but I ain't even gonna trip because the rest of it looks bomb. And I cut away the excess black fondant and then I just started to work on all of the details. Now using an X-Acto knife, I just took my picture and created some templates. Now if you want to recreate this cake, all of the pictures that I'm using are on the Facebook page. So make sure you head over to Facebook and give me a like. Facebook, the forgotten part of Koali Pops. <laughs> and I put those on top of some fondant and created all of Killa's detailed pieces. Now all the fondant I'm using I rolled out two hours before just so that the top had crusted. And it made it a lot easier to cut all of these pieces. Now to create Killa's face and body, the easiest thing that I found was just to take a very thin layer of yellow fondant and secure it to the face and the abdomen with some magic sauce. I made sure all these pieces were stuck together and then I just cut away the excess using a paring knife. Now while Killa was traveling to the big city, she met some actual Killa bees. And they knew she was a honeybee, but they were like, all right, well, I see you, boo boo. I see you doing your thing. You can be you, and you can still buzz around with us. In a very short amount of time, they became thick as thieves. Now they went from being acquaintances to being a uh, fam. You guys have friends like that, where you're so close that they're just family now? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Wow, that is amazing. You're so... Now to fix all the problems areas with Killer, I just added a band of black fondant. After that, I just started to apply all of her features using magic sauce. If you don't know what magic sauce is, i just like to say welcome to the channel. I know you're new, that's fine. There's a video for you in the description box. Now Princess Killa's newfound friends gave her the confidence to figure out what her passions were and she realized that she wanted to become a DJ. She took some classes and in no time she was DJing at the hottest clubs and pursuing a music career. Newspapers started to write articles. Wait. I don't think they make newspapers anymore. Blog sites started to write articles about the daughter of the queen who was killing her way to the top of the chart. News of her success traveled to Michigan, then Uganda, and then to B-Town. The king and queen were happy to hear about her success, but that made them miss her even more. So they would just sit in B-Tower holding each other and crying about their little girl. Now to create all of Killa's limbs, I added some CMC to my fondant so that I would get like rock hard. And I created these like two days before just so I could make sure that all of them were like super stiff. Now Killa missed her family just as much as they missed her. She had this whole new family in the big city, but that didn't mean that she forgot about her old one. With the power and the confidence that she found in the big city, she decided that she wasn't gonna allow her bullies to dictate how she lived out the rest of her life. So Killa traveled back to B-Town with her brand new friends and reclaimed her place in the hive. The end for now. Doesn't she look so cool? I love the pink glasses that I gave her and it totally fits with her being a DJ because I can totally see her just like mixing tracks. Is that what, is that the lingo? Mixing tracks when you're like, got the headphones? I don't know. I really wanted to expand upon how she got the glasses, but I think it would be cool if I did that when I did the king or the queen, or maybe if I created like their beehive. Would you guys like to see that? Then let me know in the comments and I'll try to work that into my video schedule. Honeybees are one of the scariest endangered animals for us to lose because if we don't have bees to pollinate any of our crops, we're done. It's over. In the description box, there's a link to one of my favorite bee articles as well as a website where you can help save the bees. 
Now, if you want to help support the channel, you can get this Killa B shirt as well as some of my brand new designs in my Quali Pop store. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I post in the community tab and you can be a part of the video when it goes up. Now, if your comment made it into this video, thank you for your beautiful words. And if it didn't, then don't worry because this year is going to be filled with a whole bunch of endangered animal cakes so that we can create stories together. Yeah? Okay. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace!